Hello and welcome to Web Design and Development course using HTML5 and CSS3. This is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS3. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. The prerequisites for this course are the following. Sublime Text Editor and a web browser. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. Now let's move on to our lesson. Section 9, HTML5 and Forms. Lesson 9.2 the placeholder and required attributes. The placeholder attribute. There's quite a neat new attribute we can add to our text boxes called placeholder. This is default text that disappears when we click inside a text box. The word placeholder does not have to be in capitals, as like just about every HTML element it is not case sensitive. After an e equal sign, we type the text we want to appear in our text box, surrounded by quotation marks. The required attribute. If we want a text box to be filled in, we can use the required attribute. We'll just type the word required with no equal sign or text after it. For a complete list of codes and classwork in this lesson, please check Google Classroom. Thank you.